Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So this week I'm coming to you again with a weekly oracle uh, guidance and I'm using just one deck of cards here, it's the Enchanted Map Oracle. And uh, we have three options to choose from once again. It is um, the stone here, which is a, a raw carnelian. Uh, this is a tumbled verdite, otherwise known as a bootstone from Africa. And this is a rainforest jasper, uh, also known as a rhyolite. And uh, yeah, it's a, a stone for transformation. So uh, the reason I've chosen these particular stones in this deck to work with this week is largely because it's quite resonant with the energies that we have at present. So we are heading, uh, of course you can access these cards at any time and they will resonate with you if you your intuition leads you to it and you trust your intuition. Um, but right now, in terms of the regular subscribers and, and uh, viewers uh, who come to this Oracle card guidance reading on a weekly basis, uh, the energy of this week is rather that of um, transformation, it's an ending of an era, it's the beginning of a new chapter, and um, the position on in the in the sky of uh, planets such as Saturn with Pluto, Mercury and um, Mars in, in, in Cancer, all of these things are quite potent in its expression and it's, it's making quite a statement and I feel that this statement has a lot to do with one coming into one's own being, uh, one transforming towards one's greater goodness, one, one coming uh, authentically in alignment with one's soul purpose and just cutting out whatever does not apply or what is not uh, necessary or what is not no longer needed in one's life. So um, it, the, this kind of energy is quite resonant with this deck here, which is, um, as I mentioned, the, the Enchanted Map Oracle. Uh, I did do a um, an energy forecast, uh, which I uploaded last week, uh, we, which you can check out if you'd like to know um, more about the energies. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and begin now. So if you want, it's uh, number one, two and three. And um, yeah, go, go ahead to the uh, description box and you'll find the timestamp there and you can go directly to your reading. All right, so let's begin. So we'll start with the option number one, which is this carnelian. And the question we're asking is, what is the viewer, what is it that the viewer of this video need to know for this week? Uh, what is it that the viewer who has chosen the option number one need to know for this week? Goblins. Okay. So what I'm feeling here is that uh, with this card, um, one of the things that we may realize, one of the things that we may feel at this moment is that we're not quite at, a, at the end of an era. We might feel that we're not quite there, uh, that we still have a long way to go. And I'm being told that the gremlins, or rather the the, the obstacles that lie in your life right now have all to do with you. So it has to do with um, belief systems and uh, difficulties that you might have created in your own life or um, the, just being able to come, to be able to see where it is that you are your um, an obstacle in your own path, where you are your worst enemy and, and what can you do about that. And what I'm being told about this energy here, it's a very active energy. And uh, sometimes what might happen is that you are so active and so busy uh, with doing what you're doing that you don't realize that you're almost undoing some of the work that you've been doing. Okay, so this is, um, I don't believe that this is the cha the channeled message of the, uh, the author of the deck of cards. Um, however, this is my message for you uh, for this week. I, I want to bring you to the attention also here that, uh, there is a plan in, in place that's greater than your own plan 
And your plan and this greater plan is in alignment with each other, okay? So you actually don't need to work as hard as you've been working. And you don't need to concentrate so hard on what it is that you've been doing. Because what's happening is that you're kind of overthinking and you're overdoing. And you are communicating where there isn't a need for communication. Um, and you are you're putting yourself in a pickle, basically. You're getting yourself into trouble because of the way in which you've been communicating and the way in which, well, because you've been acting in, um, in a, when you don't need to be acting. What you need, what the advice, oops, sorry. Um, the advice here is for you to actually, pardon me, I'm just gonna just kick to the tripod. Let's, let's get this okay again. Okay, let's see if this can stay, there we are. All right, so what I'm hearing here is that um, your advice for this is that it would be to your benefit to let things pass, to just take a step back, breathe, take a vacation, take a break from it all, a pause if need be, and just look in on this for a while and let it have its own agenda. Let it unfold by itself. Let it actually um, come to its own fruition. Uh, you don't need to do anything right now. What you're going to find is that if you step back right now, it's going to work out much more beautifully than you would have imagined. And the energy that you have right now is almost like this urgency, this anxiety to actually get it done or for it to turn out in a particular way. It's not an easy uh, going energy. It's not a relaxed energy. It's an energy that feels quite anxious, quite quite impatient. Okay. And um, yeah, this might not apply to every one of you, as you know the drill. <laughs> but if it, if it does apply to you, then take it. If it doesn't, then, you know, um, move on. Or perhaps there's another message that uh, resonates with you. So um, the other thing I'm hearing here is that um, you're looking at this in one particular way only. And there is, there is many other ways of looking at this scenario. So there isn't just one truth here. And yes, your truth is the truth. Oh, pardon that. Um, yes, your truth is uh, your own truth. And it is quite real to you. But the others that are involved in this situation or in this endeavor, whatever it is uh, that, you, that you actually, that this message is, is, um, um, is pertaining to, is actually, um, well, yeah, the others have a very different perspective and for them it's truth as well. It's not like one of them is lying and or, and you are not lying and that you are right on this, although it might feel very much like that, okay? So when you take a step back with all of this, you need to leave a lot of space for compassion and understanding and unconditional understanding uh, so that you can allow the others to... Um, have their own say, have their own opinions, and, uh, and you're not denying them that, okay? So that, that came across as um, something that needs to be reckoned with or dealt with, and I feel that might resonate with a few of you. Um, the last thing I want to say with regard to the stone and this card is that the energy here is very much of you having a lot to do, right? You, you can do so much more, you can actually create so much, and you can go ahead. And if you were unleashed, or if you had to just let yourself go, you could create something beautiful, but you could also destroy it all. And you could, you could, you know, it could lead to destruction. So it's very important for you to be able to manage that energy and channel that energy and not just let it run wild and not let it um, take you on its path, you know, let, not let you be dragged off by this energy. Because sometimes this energy can be quite... Um, out of control, so to say, it can be uh, difficult to manage. So um, yes, what I'm hearing here is take a step back, uh, manage your energy better, come to terms with your, the, your own energy, and try, come to understand what your own energy is, so that you can better utilize it as far as the circumstances are concerned. But it's important for you in this at this moment not to be your own worst enemy, not to be the person who causes your downfall because you've acted too quickly or too impatiently or because you haven't had enough faith in others acting in the way that they should. Uh, and even if you don't have faith in others acting in the way that they should, perhaps it is um, useful to to just have faith in a, in a greater uh, something that 
who has your best interests at heart, okay? So I hope that's been helpful to you. Do let me know how it pertains to your life, uh, if at all. And I'm wishing you a fabulous week ahead. Um, may these energies befit you well, all right? Many blessings from Kismet Rising. I'm moving on to the second stone. Okay, so for those of you who have chosen the second option here, this is called the Verdite, otherwise known as the Boot Stone. And um, it's a stone that helps connect you to ancient wisdom and ancient and peace, peace as it was uh, before. So if you uh, are wanting to go further in your spiritual path, then uh, this is the kind of stone that would support you on your path, okay? Anyway, um, let's begin. <laughs> so for those of you who've chosen this stone here, it's called uh, the Verdite, uh, as I've mentioned already. The question we're asking today is, what is it that you've come here to hear? What is your message for this week? Oops. What is your message for this week? So a couple of cards fell out here, but I think that's more my error rather than the uh, the energy speaking to us. Okay, these cards are a little bit rowdy. Okay, this feels right. So this card is number 15 and it's, it's called the One Ring Circus. All right, let me get this in the right position here. Okay, so this card actually is um, very different from the energy of the stone that that uh, is beside it. Whereas in your first, uh, the, those who would have chosen the first option would have found that, or might have known that the energy of the card was quite resonant with the with the actual stone. Um, in a way, uh, well, this card is basically talking about. Um, well, I'm giving you a channel message right now, okay? So it might mean something else by, uh, from the author. But the way in which I'm reading this card right now, the energy that I'm getting is that um, doing this by yourself, okay, um, might bring you a certain degree of fame or fortune or a certain status. It might bring you the recognition and the acknowledgement that you desire, but it's not going to bring, it's not, it's, it's chaos, okay? It's creating chaos. It's not actually allowing you to be, uh, to get closer to who you really are. It's not actually allowing you to, to really um, achieve your goals. So that what you think are your goals at this moment are not really what they are. So go take a step back and understand who you really are and, um, and, and go back to when you were like five or eight years old and think about what was important then. And ask yourself if the the younger you, you know, the 12-year-old you or the 8-year-old you would approve of your gender currently. You see, there's nothing wrong with your gender and I'm certainly not critiquing it or judging it in any manner. But what I understand here is that you're trying to do this all by yourself and it has a lot to do with not being able to trust, not being able to surrender to the energy of the world itself, feeling like an outsider feeling like you don't belong and therefore feeling like you need to do this all by yourself or you need to figure it all out by yourself. But what this card is saying to me is that it it becomes a one ring circus, you know, it becomes a, a bit of chaos. So you might be able to manage it, you might even be successful at it. But what you actually gain from it is not actually what you desire. So there's a discrepancy between what you truly desire as a soul, what you truly desire as the person that you are and what it is that you're heading towards. You may think that whatever you do achieve is actually in alignment with your um, with with what you want. And it might be, you know, these are goals that are that you've developed in the last decade or so. And it's actually um, it is very good reasons for it, but it's not going to give you, even once you have achieved it, it's not going to give you the feeling that you think you uh, are going to have. And then you will, will realize that you've actually done all these things largely because um, it was a reaction. It was a, an answer 
to uh, circumstances that befell you um, earlier on. So, you know, something that happened to you that led to you um, being feeling quite obstinate and, and saying, well, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this by myself, I'm going to show them. It might not have been those words exactly, but it's that kind of energy, you know. It's like, I can do this by myself and, um, and you know, I can't trust them anyway. So I might as well just do this by myself. And um, this energy is very much urging you to uh, create a team, do this with others, take the support from others. Even if it's an individual endeavor, feel free to be supported by others. And um, in doing so, allow yourself to understand what it is that you truly desire, what it is that you truly want, you know, in five years or two years or 20 years from now, wherever it is that you're headed to and wherever this goal or this thing that you're on is taking you to, ask yourself, what is it that I will prize most? Will I prize the wealth that I receive or will I prize the status that I receive or will I prize peace and bliss and just a feeling of happiness and comfort uh, in myself? So it's, it's not to say that you can't have both, but if you actually just keep your eye on one goal specifically, you might be you might find that the other goals are in your blind spot and you might find later on that you don't actually arrive at the point at which you wished to arrive at. So this is not a doom, a message of doom uh, by any means. It's simply asking you to look back at who you really are. What is your authentic self and are you headed? Is it is it in alignment with where you're headed to? And do you really need to do this by yourself? Are you not able to trust? Are you not able to um, basically surrender to what the universe or what this what this is about and surrendering doesn't mean that you just give up you know so if you're in a project surrendering doesn't mean that you give up the management of it or the project itself you know the propriety of, of it um, surrendering might mean being led um, being led to work with the right people being led to um, to trust the right people and developing fr friendships along the way um, for me, this card has a lot to do with trust and, and friendships and allowing friendships to come into your life and having faith in humanity, in other human beings and not seeing oneself as the only reliable individual or the only um, efficient individual or a perfectionist in your art, uh, whatever it may be, but rather actually allowing yourself to be a part of this world. So allowing yourself to share the world with others and um, yes, you know, in some cases, it might be that you're on a pedestal on some level um, or you feel that, you know, you just can't resonate with others. And it's about you saying to yourself, well, I'm going to take myself off this pedestal. I'm going to find ways to resonate with others. I'm going to look for that. I'm going to look for it. I'm going to look at how similar we are rather than how different we are. We are. And I'm not going to make a big deal of those moments that where I feel oh, we are so different from each other. I'm rather going to draw strength and appreciation from the shared uh, similarities or, or the, what we have in, in, in common with each other. So, um, yeah, I wonder if that resonated with you. I wonder if um, if you've gotten what I'm saying and, um, and I wonder how you feel about it as well. If you feel a bit agitated by this, um, this, this particular message, then it's something that I feel then even more you need to actually consider uh, what this message is. Perhaps come to it a bit later and listen to it again in a different frame of mind, perhaps later in the week or at a later stage. Okay, so I wish you very well and blessings bound from Kismet Rising and I am moving on to the next one. So for those of you who have chosen the Rainbow Jasper or the Rhyolite, um, we are asking the question, what is it that you've come here for today? What is it that you need to hear today? Oops. Let's see. It's more than one, is it? Uh, it's compass and sad embrace. Okay. I'm not feeling any of those cards. I'm just going to give it another shuffle. Oops. So we have the Wizard of Awareness that's flown out, and I do believe this is the card. I haven't really given it a proper shuffle, but I, I feel this energy is quite resonant with what we are, well, with what we need to speak about today. 
and I'm just asking, well, is it the is it the, the card for the third group of pe for the people who've chosen the option number three? And I'm getting a big yes, and I'm being pointed to the three here. So I do hope this message resonates with you, those of you who've chosen this card. So the card is called the Wizard of Awareness. Okay, okay. What I'm being drawn to here, what I mean, uh, what I've been uh, asked to speak about here, is your ability to create whatever it is that you want to. Oops, sorry, I'm just not in a very comfortable position today. And hence the tripod's getting kicked around a bit. Um, all right, there we are. So, okay, the power, I feel like the power is in this man's wand or his stick or his staff rather. It's, it's like a wand. And I'm being drawn to the fact that um, with a bit of thought, okay, and with a bit of consideration, uh, you could make a decision, and with this decision, um, your intention, uh, which is the this, this staff, directed at um, a point, one point in destiny, will allow you to actually achieve that, will allow you to actually reach that point. So it's almost like uh, this person has all the knowledge and all the tools and all the, wi the wisdom, okay, and is aware of it as well. And it's, it's like, I mean, told that you have all that you need right now. You just need to make a decision. What is it that you will do? You know, where is it that you need to, what is it that you need to do in order to get to where you need to go to or to come to that place that you need to go well, to bring yourself to that place, what is it that you need to do to bridge that gap between where you are and where you're headed to, okay? For those of you who are sitting at home quite content and just absolutely adoring your life at this moment and you're asking, what are you talking about? I don't want to go anywhere. I'm actually quite fine as I am. What I'm hearing here is that it is important at this moment to actually consider where it is that you're headed. It's important for you to consider the good times ahead and to and to place more emphasis on the positive thoughts. And this is also a time in which your thoughts can manifest very easily into um, the physical realm. And it's important for you to actually be cognizant of that and to chase away any negative emotions or any negative thoughts that you may be having and concentrate on that which is positive. But more so, this card is is very much directed to somebody or a group of people who are actually wanting to go somewhere, quite, wanting to head to a certain direction. And it's almost as if you have like five, three to five goals. You know, there are three to five things that you need to do and you want to do. And you, you're not sure. You know, you're quite divided in your mind or in your desire for those things. And you haven't quite made a decision. And this card for me is telling me that what you need to do is you need to put away the other things and just focus on one thing. All right. This is, you know, this is not to say that you shouldn't be multitasking, that you shouldn't be working on one more than one project at, at the moment. But there's one thing that you want more than anything. Okay. And be honest with yourself about what that is. OK, it's it, you know, you might have a, a whole range of grievances or complaints about your life. And you might say, well, I'd like to change that and I'd like to change that and, and that and that and that and that. But the truth is that if you had to choose just one thing, you'd realize that all the other things are quite acceptable as they are. And perhaps they don't need to change right now. Maybe they could change in a year from now. But but there's something that's just before you at this moment. There's something, it's like a lightning strike. You know, there's this kind of uh, huge energy that's coming in. And it's saying, it's this, this card is saying to me, you need to actually take your wand or your staff and point in that and access this lightning energy and, and make it yours and work with it and run with it. Now, this may be, in some, for some of you, this might be um, a project that you've kept on the back burner for some time. And it's something that's now suddenly coming to the fore. And you might have thought, oh, well, I need about a year or about six months or about two months to actually get this thing rolling again. But actually, it comes to you and it's ready to start running the big race. And the end is near the end as in the, the the final point the goal 
So, you know, be robust and be on your uh, guard to allow, uh, well, firstly, to check what is coming your way and be ready to go with it when it comes your way. And this is why um, and you have all that you need, right? So don't think, no, but I don't have the experience or I'm not, I just needed to have a little bit more knowledge or just I'm out of touch, you know, and I need to do a course or something like this. You, you don't need to do any of those things. You actually can just go with it right now, run with it and, and you're going to be able to get there. But you need to know what it is, you know. You can't be running in two different directions. So you can't be saying, well, I want that project to get off the ground, but I also want that one to get out of the ground. And I'm not sure, you know, which one will come first or the other. It doesn't matter, actually. You know, the you know that can come first or the other one will come first. Well, that won't do. That kind of speaking or, or thought process or rhetoric won't actually do. You need to make a decision about where it is what it is that you want to invest your time in, what it is that, that you want to invest your energy in, and you need to go with that only at this moment. And that this psychic energy and this card is very much resonant with that. And you have the support of a transformation stone here as well. And it's, it's as if um, the other message I'm getting here is that, you know, whatever it is, wherever it is that you're headed to, okay, it's not, it doesn't mean that even if you choose one, one thing that you're headed, that you're wanting to direct your energy towards, it doesn't mean that other things will get left behind. What you'll find is that when you've reached that one goal, you'll find that everything else has been shifted forward as well. It's like all, you know, taking a step forward in a way. How do I explain this? It's like you've finished one level and you've gotten, uh, you know, the, the rewards for that one level, but then all the other things that you don't have, uh, that you haven't put your energy in or you haven't actually... Um, you know, uh, gotten any, you haven't gotten to the next level with, it automatically comes to that level. And some of these things become less important and irrelevant uh, anyway. Some of these things kind of work themselves out. So you might be wanting to move, for instance, right? This is an example. You might be wanting to move and you're thinking, okay, I should move, but I should also change my job. And then you decide, okay, well, I'm going to just focus on getting a new job. And then you get a new job, but it's actually in another location. And then you end up moving to that other location. So the question is not, you know, am I going to move like here? Am I going to move to that neighborhood or this neighborhood? The the kind of uh, that that is not you know what you what you needed to worry about because that is being taken care of by itself. And that's just an example, by the way. So um, I try to uh, kind of explain what I was trying to say in the best. Oops, there I go again. Uh, in the best way possible. Apologies for all the times that I've knocked over the tripod today. Um, all right. So I think that's about it with regard to this. Um, I feel also that in this process, in whatever it is that you do, whatever it is that you, wherever it is that you decide to point your wand and whatever it is that you wish for will entail uh, a dramatic uh, redress of yourself. What if, uh, it's, it's actually, I'm trying to avoid using the word transformation, but it really is a transformation. It's something else. It's another part of you. Uh, like you're wearing another cap, you know. There's something else in you that comes to the fore that desires to be used and is necessary. And it's perhaps it's a set of skills or perhaps it's a, you know, you wear a different uniform, a different outfit to go to your workplace or uh, you just engage in something else. But it what it does is it brings forth another part of you. And it's not just... Um, um, like a kind of deeper spiritual transformation. It's also physical transformation. It's also the way you present yourself. There's a transformation in, in that as well. So I feel that that's about it for this uh, week. To be honest, I could go on for another hour, but I think that uh, that that's the crux of the message. And um, yes, yeah, I hope that is informative for you. I hope that's been helpful. And I wish you a very uh, good week ahead. Um, many blessings to all of you. And um, yes, I hope you're able to harness the energy of this eclipse and all the other energies that are around us at the moment. And I wish you very well in your journey. Blessings abound from Kismet Rising.